Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So this is uh, the lab number four and it's about the state space representation and pole zero mapping. The references are the control systems sixth edition book and uh, that's by Norman is nice. The objectives of this lab are to construct systems using state space representation equations and to make conversions between different types of representations. So we are uh, pretty much familiar with the type of uh, conversions that we do between ZPK and TF but today we'll learn about the conversions between state space representations and the normal transfer functions and ZPK models. And then we have to make plot of poles and zeros of our system using MATLAB. The required softwares are the MATLAB Simulink and the Control System Toolbox. So state space representation, what's state space representation? It's another kind of representation in control systems for which we construct a model of physical system as input, output and state variables. This is something really important in state space equations, the state variables. So what are state variables? We'll learn in a moment. The state of the system can be uh, represented as a vector within that state space. And uh, this should be represented over here. Anyways, the state of the system can be represented as a vector within that state space. So uh, we create state variables and we model a system as an input and output through state variables. And these state variables are basically uh, uh, representing uh, the vector, uh, representing through a vector the state of a system uh, within that state space. So the uh, command that's being used in MATLAB to represent the system in state space is SS and then you will declare the matrices A, B, C and D. Uh, I've already explained in the complete example of state space representation that how you create the matrix A, matrix B, matrix C and matrix D. I again repeat, I have uh, explained a complete example and I'll paste the link of that video over here uh, for you guys that so that you can understand that how do we create these matrices A, matrices B, matrix C and matrix D. And once you have find these matrices, the rest is very easy. You have just to declare them in MATLAB and then you have to store them in any variable a, B, X, Y, Z instead of this state space using this SS command. And the equations for the state space I've already explained in that video. You must visit that video and you should uh, listen to that lecture. Uh, the equations are X derivative X dot of T is equal to AX plus BU and Y is equal to CX plus TU. This is for the inputs and this is for the outputs. Now, how can we use uh, MATLAB for pole zero plotting? MATLAB can be used for plotting the poles and zeros of the systems in S plane. The zeros are denoted by holes, this is a O, and the poles are represented by X. Um, that's a representation uh, when you will uh, plot them using MATLAB. So you will see zeros as holes and poles by these cross. We can find the zeros and gain from the transfer function by using the residue function and after that we can plot the zeros and poles by using the PZ map syntax. The command we use for pole zero plot is PZ map and then you have to write the system name over here. So you can declare that system through a state space model, through a TF model, through a ZPK model or any transfer function model. And if you want to have a pole zero plot for that system, you will just use this PZ map command and write the name of that system over here. So that's pretty much easy. Now we'll move to the tasks. The pre-lab tasks are uh, not to be done by you. You have to do the lab tasks only. Uh, but you should remember that the lab tasks refer to the pre-lab tasks. So use MATLAB to generate the LTI state space representation derived in pre-lab one. So you have to generate the LTI state space representation uh, using MATLAB of the system 
given in prelab 1 and prelab 1 says derive the state space representation of translational mechanical system shown in skill assessment 3.2 if you have not already done so consider the output to be x3 of t so i have pasted the skill assessment 3.2 over here this is the system that you need to represent as a state space system in matlab so the very first thing that you need to do is to find out the matrices a b c and d i again repeat you have to visit the video i have completely solved that example for you guys and that's pretty much similar to this one so you can consider this f of t to be 10 newton and you can uh, i guess the rest of the springs and the masses are already written so this f of t would be 10 newtons now you have to construct matrices a b c and d and then represent them using matlab to generate the lti state space representation then the second task says you have to use matlab to convert the lti state space representation found in lab 1 to the lti transfer function found in prelab 2 so you have to convert the lti state space representation into the one given over here which says that the transfer function this needs to be extracted out and here you can see that the output is x3 of s so i guess that's pretty much easy again you just have to convert the state space representation into tf form task number 3 says run the programs composed in prelab 3 and prelab 4 and obtain the symbolic transfer functions by the two methods so prelab 3 says that you have to use the equation c brackets s into identity matrix minus a the a matrix and you have to take its inverse and then you have to multiply it to the b matrix so this would help you to find a transfer function from a state space representation write a matlab program using symbolic math toolbox to find the symbolic transfer function from state space representation of translational mechanical system shown in skill assessment 3.2 so this is exactly the same question but the different approach the approach is basically uh, this equation uh, you have to find the matrix a b and c and then using this equation and you can only use this when you are using symbolic math toolbox you have to declare s as symbol over here and then you will implement this equation and find out the transfer function this transfer function should be similar and equal to the transfer functions that you have found in these uh, tasks pre lab number 1 pre lab number 2 or you can say the lab number 1 and lab number 2 so the question about pre lab number 4 says that using the equations of motion of translational mechanical system sh shown in the same skill assessment exercise and found in pre lab 1 write a symbolic matlab program to find the transfer function x3 of s divided by f of s for this system so this is using this equation and here you need to employ the symbolic math toolbox to find the transfer function but the math matlab lab says that you need to run the programs composed in prelab 3 and 4 and obtain the symbolic transfer functions by two methods so to summarize it you just need to find out the same transfer function that you had uh, obtained for this skill assessment using the above two methods Uh, but this time you have to use symbolic math toolbox and the computations and the computations would be performed by this equation and the manual transfer function finding method so all these methods should return the same transfer function and if still uh, anything is unclear i would I, i would repeat that you should uh, visit the lecture that i have given to you about the state space representation as a must because that's very very important for you guys to understand this state space representation and i have tried to explain it in very easy and uh, slower uh, pace methods so that you can understand it completely and the rest is on you guys 
but still if you find anything difficult or any problem uh, or you face any problem anywhere you can uh, mention these in comments or uh, send your problems to me i'll be definitely there for you inshallah so take good care of yourselves uh, submit this in time and i hope that would be easy for you allah hafiz